down to 12, hoping that they could keep their championship hopes alive. It came down to the 11 and the 3. The 11, by that much in front of the 41, got a point so that they were ending up tied. You see the three closest to us, 43, it was just a matter of feet. And Austin Dillon disappointed, obviously, that he didn't advance into the round of eight. But able to celebrate at Texas with RCR's first Texas pole. NASCAR Racing from Texas is on NBC tomorrow. It's the future stars of the sport, Xfinity Series. That coverage starts at 3.30 p.m. Eastern. It's Sunday. It's race two in the round of eight for the Sprint Cup Series. Coverage beginning at 1 p.m. Let's go down to Dave Burns. Second for Joey Logano here this evening. How would you describe how close that was? <laughs> really, really, really frustrating. Uh, last week we missed it by eight thousandths. This week we missed it by six thousandths. So, uh, gosh, um, second stings the most, by the way. But uh, that's okay. Our, our team's um, our team's tough, and we showed some speed here in, in qualifying the last couple of weeks. So, uh, I think this Triple A Fusion's got a lot of speed in race trim as well. So, I'm excited about it. It's a fun racetrack to race, and uh, it's really racy as well. So, uh, starting towards the front there. This is a 500 mile race. Uh, we'll do our thing and end up in victory lane. But when we're describing. Your losses in thousands, right? That's a good place to be, right? No. It's not in the loss part, but in the speed part. No. <laughs> it's not. The only good place to be is first. <laughs> All right, so how do we fix that tomorrow? <laughs> More gas, less brake. <laughs> that's pretty much what we need. You know, we're, we're not far off, like I said. it's uh, We're mad about second. That's, it. that's when your team's in a good spot. All right, Joe Legato, second on Sunday. Hopefully, he can get to first. So close for Kevin Harvick and his race team. Were you thinking that there were a couple of spots where the car could have been a little bit better to Kevin to get you to the pole? Uh, I think the car was better than the decisions that the driver made. You know, I, I went into turn one, and I didn't get it all the way to the bottom and pointed in the right direction before the bump, and I got greedy and tried to leave the throttle down, and then it hit the bump, and then it got further out of the groove, so I had to wait longer. Uh, I got through three and four okay, but um, and to the green fine, but everybody on Bush Chevy did a good job. That's a lot better than the spring. We've worked hard on, on this particular race. Uh, we started in, in race trim today, and, and we're able to, uh, you know, to have a lot of things to think about tonight, so we can get that cycle started for uh, tomorrow's practice. So, uh, feel like we're in, you know, we're we're in a good spot. The car's got good speed. Um, if I could go back and do it again, I'd do a lot better. Dude, not bad for a guy that said I feel older every lap qualifying. This place will make you feel old, won't it? And how tough is the qualifying effort here in Texas? Well, it's hard because it's really, really fast, and you got to be committed to the throttle um, in order to, to run a fast lap, and then you got to bounce over all the bumps and be pointed in the right directions over all the bumps in order to, to make speed. And, uh, but in order to go faster, you have to have a lot of throttle. So when you make it and, and you get a good lap, you're, you're happy about it, but it uh, definitely takes, uh, takes your nerves uh, away from you. As you're done, and, and you um, you know you, you realize that uh, you made it again. So um, it's a lot of places to screw up. So <laughs> as I get older, I feel like I screw up more. Fortunately, he didn't mess up too many times today. Kevin Harvick will start third on Sunday. Seventh for Matt and the 20 team starting on Sunday. Matt, where was the pole lost for you today? The uh, corners, <laughs> mostly. So we were just, uh, you know, drove really great in, in practice, and the balance was good, drivability was good. It was just, um, it was, it was really good. And then uh, in uh, qualifying, we just had chopped up corner. You know, I just couldn't get to the corner, and then I couldn't get turned very good, and then it would spin up off. So I just kind of had to. The speed was actually spectacular for how bad I thought it drove. So uh, this track's always a uh, real challenge, and that's what makes it a lot of fun. You're, you're sliding around a lot. I was trying to search for that perfect balance. We just kind of missed it for qualifying. And I know this track is so fast. So how much different is race trip? Because you're still going over a buck ninety, right? Yeah, I mean, race trim is different, but honestly, with this tire and as slick as the track was tonight, it was it was pretty slick. I'm not sure how different it'll be, so, um, but today, you know, before all the other divisions practiced, you know, the rain yesterday and everything, the track had a ton of grip, and it was real clean, so we kind of anticipated it changing. It just uh, changed a little more than we thought. Coming into this race, a former winner here, how was your confidence about taking home the victory Sunday and moving on to the final at Homestead? Yeah, you know, my confidence is always uh, high. It's always, it's been high since the, the day I walked in the doors at JGR, to be honest with you. So, I mean, I feel like if we we execute and do our jobs. We definitely have the, the hardware capable of winning, um, but there's a lot of great race cars out there, and um, it's, it's tough to win these races, but I feel like we're, we're going to be competitive. We just got to try to do everything right on Sunday, and, um, you know, a win would be great. If we don't get a win, hopefully we do everything right and get a good finish. Kyle Larson winds up fifth in qualifying, and I was just asking you about your lap. You said, that was okay, but a, a good effort for you guys. Where did you lose a little bit of time, Kyle? 
Well, I was actually surprised to end up fifth. Um, I thought I got really loose both ends, and uh, I ran a faster lap than my second round. So um, I thought I was going to look down my dash and see like a 40 or something and beat 12. But um, yeah, so I was shocked at that. Target Chevy was, was good that final round. Yeah, a lot of speed. Race train we struggled today, so we'll have to work on that quite a bit for tomorrow to be good on Sunday. But uh, confident in my guys that we'll be able to get a drive better for me. I was going to ask you about that because you did spend some time in the top 10 in practice today, but where were the struggles in race train this afternoon? I was extremely loose on exit, so uh, fought that in my Xfinity car too, so not sure what we got going on, but got to fix it. And of course, for all these chasers, you'd love to spoil the party, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> all right, Kyle Larson loves it when the high line comes in, and Dave, no doubt, it certainly comes in here in Texas. Well, Carl Edwards would say, no, Kyle Larson, don't spoil the party. He wants a chaser to win himself. Uh, what did you try and qualify, Carl, that didn't quite work out? Speaking of Kyle Larson, I tried the high line, and... Uh... <laughs> I don't know why. I think it was mostly just because I didn't want to go to bed tonight and think, why didn't I try the high line? So uh, it didn't work. Needless to say, we'll start ninth. I think we'll still get a pretty good pit stall. And uh, the sport clips can't race faster than that. So now we'll go to race trim tomorrow. Hopefully dial it in. This is going to be a good race. I mean, the tires are falling off quite a bit. I think we're going to run all over the racetrack. It's going to be good. Yeah, so you assured me that the high line is okay for racing still. Oh, absolutely, guys. Anybody watching that might be driving a car on Sunday that... First couple laps go right, right to the top. It's spectacular. Where are you going to go? <laughs> um, anyway, what else is going on? Yeah, so race strategy from Carl Edwards down here. No, but, but it will be the kind of track on Sunday you believe there's going to be a lot of lines. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, it's this place is really, it's age, and the, the surface is great. The tire's great, so it's, it's going to be a good race. All right, everybody else watch out, because whatever you do, Carl's going to do the opposite. Jeff Burton, is that the way it works? Yeah, that's what I've noticed. Seems to work well. Just do whatever they don't do. <laughs> do That's what, what I always try. Your competition doesn't do. As we take a look at the starting grid, Austin Dillon, Joey Logano making up the first row. Yeah, I think the interesting thing is there's a, some, a variety of bases in this top eight. We see Paul Menard right there in row three, Ryan Blaney in row four. Some guys without that In the Chase logo making it known that they're still here, still trying to get themselves a race win. Back fifth through eighth as far as rows go. Two chasers and... Row five with Carl Edwards and Kurt Busch. You might be surprised if row six won this race on Sunday. Chase Elliott could get his first win. Been knocking on the door. Martin Truex Jr., we know how good he is on the mile and a half. Let's go back here into the ninth row to find Denny Hamlin. After a wild ride in qualifying, hanging on to it. The second round, he doesn't advance out of that round. First time all year, Denny Hamlin hasn't made the final round of qualifying. The impressive streak, but it's come to an end here in Texas. And then you see back there in row 12, Tony Stewart will make his final start here in Texas. And next to him, defending champ Kyle Busch has had an eventful day. We'll see how the rest of the weekend treats him. A little bit deeper through the field. Biffle. Trevor Bain, teammates, side-by-side side in row 13. I know Casey Cates this morning. We've seen some speed for that team lately. They've been making improvements, but a little bit of a step back this afternoon. And the final four rows. Matt DiBenedetto and Castle in row 17. All the way back to Joey Gase and Josh Wise making up the final row. Drivers will all have an opportunity tomorrow to get back out on the track and work on their race setups.